Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking in and today we are visiting Nabongo Cultural Center at Eshembeho Matungu in Mumias Town. And of course Mumias Town is a town in Kakamega County in Kenya. The Nabongo Cultural Center is a shrine that is dedicated to the Wanga Kingdom of the Luhia people in Kenya. The shrine contains the tombs of the Wanga kings including the founder of Mumias, Nabongo Mumia. Locally known as Eshembeho, the shrine is managed by the Luya Council of Elders. The Nabongo Mumia, who was the founder of Mumia's town, was a paramount chief whose territory stretched as far as the plains of Transmara. Here at Nabongo Cultural Center, his memory and the culture of the people he came from, the Wanga, lives on. Now His Royal Highness Nabongo Peter Shitawa Mumia II, who is the present king of the Wanga people, was born in 1952. He is the grandson of the great Nabongo Mumia, who ruled the Wanga kingdom for 67 years, from 1882 to 1949. Here is a quick tour inside Nabongo Cultural Center, Eshembeho Matungu in Mumias. Let's learn from my tour guide. Uyu na Bongo Shitawa, alizaliwa 1911 na Kafa 1974. Na Bongo Shitawa, ye ndiyo baba sasa wa the current king. Na the current king, alichukua ushikani 1974. Na bado badwa ne-exist, na kona 68 years. Kwa hivyo, ye pia the current akifa, wate extend hapa pia mikupa zake zileto hapa. Mzaone akwamba, the three sons were taken from Moja from Moja Pali. Now, if you can put a part of Mecca Pali Mombe and then a tapewa spear, a tambour not a cow in the Mombe is being a paroho. So, Anna Purusha, Pengini and Pekando, I'm a sister and our Chile Mombe to be here and a cool area with Kapalika. It has a mechanic that went here and all and all and all spirits are wongozi. So, yeah, at a watch one. But the correct one, when you're going to spirit is a wongozi than Yaki, Yaki Japala, Kipewa, your spear, a Kirusha. So Aki Dunga, assistant at Wachivia, Mombe in a stale can be in Gapaka Pale, when you buy Lale Penny Maita Melazo, it was here. So I take to a king, but not in store. Paka Billy with Hoopers, the little hoop. This is how kings on the store have a king. Kabeliki <laughs> Uyo ndiyo na bongo mia mumia, the current king. Sasa anaitua Peter mumia the second. Na uyo ndiyo queen mother, anaitua Lillian mumia, retired dead master. Haya wakano ndadifanyo wakata alikuwa installed. That was 2013. All African kings, serekali, wanainji walikuwa kutai hapa. Na bongo mumia. Hii picha kapigua 1945. Ndiyo alimanizanga miaka tatu wakafa in 1949. Hapa kapigwa na board guards wake. Huyu alikuwa brother yake, huyu brother yake alikuwa anaitwa Murunga. Murunga ndiye alituma pale Ubukusuni mahali pale anaitwa Kimilili akawa governor huko. Ah. Yeye pia akaunda kwa Abukusa clan code ya Barunga kwa sababu ya hiyo jina yake Murunga. Oh, okay. Huyu ndiyo first born wa Nabongo Mumia alikuwa anaitwa Mtachi. Huyu ndiyo brother yake pia alikuwa anaitwa Umulama. Huyu Umulama ndiye alituma Butere akawa chief. Na sasa hii wakati wazungu walianza kuingia hapa njini. Nabongo Mumia alikuwa na wanawake 100. You know about the hound, the hound, and you are the there are no clothes. What you want to be here? I love you. Now, Bongo had to fight. He was a hundred wives, one hundred and two sons, sixty daughters, four hundred and fifty grandchildren. How many of us work? How many of us are going to do Kuyaba? Na tutaona pale jua kuna wanawake wachache but kuna mtu amevalia nguo pale. Huyo ndio mzungu wa kwanza kuingia kwa boma lake. Huyo mzungu alikuwa anaitwa Joseph Thompson. That was in 1883. Joseph Thompson ndiye alichambua ile Thompson Falls in Nyaruru. Hii ndio beseni sasa. Watoto wadogo walikuwa kioshewa hapa unaona. Mm. Sasa watu wakubwa walikuwa naoga mtoni. Mm. Mm. Okay. Sisi tunaitwa Luero. Draft. Mm. 
Hizi tunaita luho. Mm-hmm. Wazee walikuwa wanacheza hii mchezo yao, mshindi alikuwa anapewa mbizi ama kondoo. Mm-hmm. And you know it was a serious game. Pengine wana debate paka wanawake wao. Akishindwa yeah. ananyang'anywa mwanamke. Hizi ni pots. Hizi pots sasa ndio zikuwa vifuria za kitambo. Mm-hmm. Na tutaoni ya kwamba eh, sasa hizi pots zilikuwa na utofauti. Kama sasa ya kupiga ugali mm-hmm. ilikuwa inaitwa e, hasuka ingiluya. Mm-hmm. And then ile ya kupiga kuku ilikuwa inaitwa yambela. And then sasa kama ile ya nyama ilikuwa inaitwa inyinjiro. And then sasa kama tutaona kama sasa kama hiyo ya maji tulikuwa tunaita ifyongo. So hizi ndio zilikuwa bakuli. No, unajua bakuli zimekuja tu after white people. Tunaita eshikai. So alikuwa anaweka pap, anaweka stew ama nyama hapa. Na hii tunaita ingara. Ingara walikuwa wanaweka juu hizi. Mm-hmm. Then they take the shimwero wanaweka juu. Wanaenda kuuza mm-hmm. kama kusiaga. Mm-hmm. And then pia walikuwa wanachukua pia wanachukua hata pots. Unajua there are no buckets. Yeah. Kama hiyo mm-hmm. wanaekelea juu wanaenda mtoni. Na tutaona kuna utofauti nayo ya hii. Hii nayo walikuwa wanaekelea chini. So wanachukua ile pots ya busa. Then wanaweka juu yake. Sasa hizi ndio sahani tunaita efitero mm-hmm. walikuwa naeka ugali sasa hapa mm-hmm. ama pengine viazi wakipika ama mihogo mm-hmm. eh hey, let's make after white people and then tutaona hizi ni gourds hizi gourds sasa ndio zikuanga vikombe kwa kunywa maji uji ama brew mm-hmm. hii naye tunaita eh, calabash na but sasa hii walikuwa naeka maziwa ikisha ganda wataipigilia mm-hmm. it introduce butter sasa hiyo yes. butter ndio ilikuwa mafuta yao yeah. ndio walikuwa naishi sana Na chenge chenge zilikuwa nguo za wanawake ile tumeona pale. Yeah. Walikuwa nakifunika tu hapa hivi. Yeah. Then they walk. Mm-hmm. Kiko. Walikuwa naeka tumbako, wanafuta kama sigara. Mm-hmm. Na hizi ni bilauli za kwanza wazungu kupea na bongo mumie. Ndio unaonanga hii clan of Ashitete hii kingdom huwa wanajidai sana wakisema hao ndio walikuwa wa kwanza kula kwa vikombe, sahani na vijiko. Ndio hizi. Mm-hmm. Fuli ya kwanza kabisa ndio hii. Hii ndio ilikuwa identity card inayolimpea na wallet yake. Mm-hmm. So tunaona pale tukitoa kuna mumia juu na kuna mumias chini. Yaani waliita mumias inizona. Hizi ni coins na tutaona kwamba hata kuna manoti pale za inji mbalimbali. Paka kuna hata hiyo noti ya moi wow. na kenyata. Wow. Pia kuna shilingi tano pale. Kuna hata 10 cents oh. hadi 5 cents. Then kuna rupees Hizi rupees sasa ndio hela. Ndio pesa za kwanza. Ndio kitambo alikuwa na butter trade tu. So hizo ndio pesa za kwanza kuja hapa nchini na zilikuwa zinatoka India. Congo, Botswana, mm. Uganda, Tanzania, mm. Egypt. Mm. Oh, which one is this? Rwanda. Mm. Hii imeandikwa Kiarabu ni gani? Mm. Sudan eh? Sudan. Okay, Sudan, Canada. The dollar itself there. Oh my god. Ah, okay. I can see the one from Dubai, so Sudan, mm. Angola. Wow. Hizi mm. ni zile zetu zilikuwa za zamani hizi. Mm. Wow, okay. Then tutaona kama sasa hizi ni horns. Yeah. Kitamba huko ana simu. So mm. walikuwa natumia hizi horns for entertainment and mm-hmm. communication. Yeah. Kama sasa hii ilikuwa inaitwa wika kwa kiluya. Mm. Sasa hii kipulizwa mm-hmm. walikuwa wanajua pale area paka kuna sherehe. But hii sasa ni shiriba. Hii ilikuwa na mulio tofauti. The black one. E, ikilia mm. watajua pale wamevanua na vita, pengine kuna magonjwa, mm. pengine kuna fight pale. Okay. Nasijeo ama matanga. Then walikuwa pia na umaridadi za vyuma vya shingo. Hizi zilikuwa za kiuno. Hii ilikuwa kama belt. Hiyo ni banko. Hii ni whip. Na hizi jangles. Hii ni, ni sasa hizi ni, walikuwa nafunga kwa miguu anapocheza. Then kuna types of spears hapa kama hizi ilikuwa za kuhunt. Hii na ndio ilikuwa anga wembe wa kunywa nywele. Hiyo. Alafu hii ndio ilikuwa anga sword. Okay. Alafu hii ilikuwa na kuspia mara mbili. Mm-hmm. Na hiki kuspia kama ni kwa tumbo, hizo fox wa kivuta zitatoka na all in these times. Mm-hmm. Na hizo vitu zote zilikuwa zinatengenezwa na iron ore before Europeans came. Kwa sababu sasa iron ore ndio hii. Mm-hmm. Alikuwa na melt hizo iron ore mm-hmm. paka zie UK ndio anaunda hizi vitu zote kwa pale. Okay. Tukaona kama muundo wa jembe sasa ndio huo. Mm-hmm. Then walikuwa wanafunganisha vile kwa kijiti wanapalilia. Mm. Alafu tutaona kama ni hii mawe ndogo ndogo hizi hapa zilikuwa zinaekwa kwa poti ya maji. Unajua kitambo vile kukuwa na fridge walikuwa naamini hizo ndio zilikuwa zina cool maji. Oh, okay. Alafu kama ni hii kubwa hapa ile walikuwa na wana sharpen the grinding stone. Hii yes. is a type of a grinding stone. So wanapigilia kwanza juu ndio waanze kuziaga na ile nyingine. Mm. 
Inge ngele ilikuwa nafungwa kwa mwambe dume ili ikitembea isipotee. Ikipotee watashikia mulio wange ngele. Na hizi jembe ikiisha ilikuwa na baki hizi na wanachimbulia vya zita. Okay. Hizo zikuwa za kwa harvest. Inga likuwa nakalia studio miguine, but the kinds of vendors wanakalia hii ya miguta. This is a leo fat skin, a little one. Sasa hii kwa muziamu, but the ya king yenyewe yuko kwa osisi yake. Siku ya ceremony yobu anakalishwa kwa hii, bila mm. mekapa pale kwa picha. Pala kisalamia uhuru, pala kisalamia ruto, hapa likuwa kwa ofisi ya Raila, na hapa ni wakatu wa kinyata de during mwai kibaki stime, ye pia lienda Nairobi kusherekea, and then hapa ni wakatu uhuru na mdavadi walipo kuja kututembelea hapa. Mm. Pale awakaranda likuwa na swea, pale alikuwa Nigeria, okay. hapa alikuwa kule Benin kwa uyu King Boniai, hapa alikuwa kule Buganda Toro kwa huyu King Oyo of Toro. Mm. Huyu King Oyo, ye ndi ya liministro lakiwa na 22, 18 years. Kwa hivyo, King Oyo ndiyo King Mdogo kwa All African Kings. And remember that our current King ndiyo treasurer of All African Kings. Hapa alikuwa kule Uganda kwa Yoheri Nseveni. Na hapa ndi wakati Kalondo Musioka na Raila pia walikuja kututembelea hapa Shembeho. Wakitembezo rao na hawa kanzo welders hata na current king alikuwa kwa pale. Ni gift zenye wa current king huwa natembea hindi balibali ya kipewa kama ya lipewa kule Kongo, ya lipewa kule Nigeria, ya kapewa kule Benin na hii ya lipewa kule Amerika. Alafizi chondo wanaekanga kabati kana hituwa Quels. Sisi tunaita isi ndu ikilia zinakuja kwa wingi, kala bashesi kwa maziwa. Hizi nato ndu ukuna kujiko kwa kupika sasa. Tutaona kuna utofauti, hii ndu ilikuwa ya kupika, na hii sasa ya kupakua. Sisi tunaita olunuhu. Wanawako wa kitambo walikuwa naishima sana kukakua wanapo tengeneza chakula ama kupika. Unajua kitambo ilikuwa atia mwanamuke kukakua kwa kiti. Sawa walikuwa nakalia chini hivyo kiganda. And then tutaona kama ni hapa. Hui ya napiga ngoma, hui ya metuanga vitu ziyake kwa kinu, watoto wa shule, wanavonja vitu wa vya. Hui ya na melt the iron ore, na tutaona hata wazungu walipo kuja watu wakaanza kujua kufaa na kusoma. Na from Wanga, the found of Wanga Kingdom, wanazikuwa wakiwa wameka, wanaka hivyo kwanza. Even our current king wa sasa ya akifa, wanazikuwa wakiwa wameka hivyo. Oo. Sasa, atawekewa hii nyungu pombe iwekwe ndani. Uh -huh. Na hii saifo niende paka kwa mdomo mtoto wa shula livunja. Uh -huh. Then watajaza udongo kwa hile kaburi ifike kwa mapega yake hapa. Uh -huh. After that, watachukua nyungu kubwa kama hiyo na yundu hile mundo wa macho wa mvalishe kwa kichwa. Uh -huh. Sandi wa malizishe na udongo. So, hivyo inamanisha bada na rula kiwa kule mumias. There is a clan called Abachelo, the one as Zika Hawa Kings. Na tena ndi watakuwa responsible ya kuchunguza yu kaburi. Kwa sababu kuna ishara itatwedeka pale kwa kaburi, ndi wajui sasa hameoza, hamebaki mifupa peke yake. And that can take even two, two, twenty and above years. Sasa kisha waza hamebaki mifupa, watachimbo hizo mifupa, sasa ndi wazigete hapa for the second barrel. And that day ndi when all African kings watakuwa hapa, serikali wanainji kwa dhumla. So wakisha laza, mifupa wazike hapa, sasa yake ndi itakuwa imeisha. Na sikuyo sasa the kings ndi wata install kijana yake, awe king kilasi. Hii ni mbua ya kwanza, na mbua mbua kutewa na wazungu. Na hii mbua alikuwa ni 1889. Na tutaone ya kwamba, utaona mikubwa hata wewe kumbeta kutoshi. Kwa sasa hii ni mkono refu. Ukisha vaa ni kanzo, na nikuwa kanzo. So alikuwa ni 1889. Tuchawani ya kamba likuwa kwanza likombe, kukaja mbuo, and then kukaja in 1910, akapewa baskeli, akawa kwanza kuraiti, akaletewa horse, akawa kwanza. Vila nikuwa na rule from Jinja, Uganda, tunaivasha. All those past, they were chiefs, governors, wenye walikuwa na letter reports kwake, alikuwa paka reports na guards. Mishore akapewa magali na wili, but alikuwa mwoga kuendesha hizo gali, so the warriors ni walikuwa na push to paka penye. Anaenda. That's why unawanako anasema waluya ni waoka. Mutoona hapa, hii ni Columbus King, hii ni jolo waka Columbus Maki. So the kind of vendors sasa hizi njoo zikuwanga uniformi zao. So atafaa vahi na kofia, atashika lingao, ashike spia. Then atakalia ili studio ni mutatu. So wengine wataka huku, wengine huku, na king anakalia katikati na hiyo the folded stool during the ceremony day. Hiyo the grinding stone. 
ndio tutaona kwamba nimesema kulikuwa na ile mawe pale ndio hii inaitwa ikoma ko mm. no? mm. so hii ikoma ko ndio alikuwa anapigilia wakishapigilia hivi ikuwe rough kidogo sasa hii tunaita isio so wanaweka kama ni mawele unaona siaga wana siaga wana siaga ikimwagika na paa so mwanga 3 na na amoi walikuwa watoto wa mwanga 2 Uganda Okay. So Mwanga 3 akasettle pale Kisumu mahali mm-hmm. panaitwa Lela. Mm-hmm. Na Moya libaki Uganda kule Samia. Ibanda. Okay. Kwa hivyo Mwanga 3 alipo settle pale ndi akazaa hawa wa vijana wa nane. Mm-hmm. Alikuwa Kadia Kala, mm-hmm. Muromo, mm-hmm. Huyu Wanga, mm-hmm. eh, Wehoba, Mugoya, mm-hmm. Sakwa. Sasa hawa vijana ndio wakaanza ku separate na kuanza kuunda clans in Kenya. Okay. Na tukaona sasa wanga akabaki hapa akawa the sound of wanga kingdom. Mm-hmm. Mugo ya settled pale Lugo Genya akaform aba Magoya. Mm-hmm. We hope aka settled pale Tiliki akaform aba Lugoba. Naona? Mhm. Mutende aka settled pale Kuria akaform Kuria pia. Mhm. Sakwa ndio aka settled pale Bondo akaform Jakasa kwa hiyo clan ya kina Tara kwa hiyo ndio mm-hmm. unaona ngara ile kijisifu yeye ni mjukuu wa 13 wa kina wanga mm-hmm. juu sakwa na wanga walikuwa brothers mm-hmm. yes so wanga alipo baki hapa tuna estimate ya kwamba ni around 1050 na akafa around 1140 mm-hmm. so wanga huo mti ndiye alikuwa nakalisha baraza lake pale okay it is 900 and above years huo mti oh. ah. 900 and, and above na tutaona hiyo nyumba inaonesha kwamba wanga aliishi hapo wakati ya settle hapa. So alipoaga kazipo hapa kwa mkono wa kiume. Mm-hmm. Kwa hivyo hiyo nyumba tunaita wanga home. You can hire for 1500 children if you have got meeting and so forth. Mm. Apia kings wakikuja ama wakina uhuru wana settle pale kwanza for discussion ndio wapande kwa majuku wa kwa press. for meetings kwa hivyo kina kikufa from mwanga the founder of mwanga kido hata huyu wetu wa sasa unajua vile wanga likufa akaachia mwingine huyu king wetu ni king wa 13 so yeye pia babaka alipoaga king post ilitolewa na hii hat ikaanguka nyumba ikaanguka so hata huyu wetu wa sasa kikufa before hata pengine watangaze kwa radio the bachero clan will come na watangoa hii king post sisi tunaitwa ishiro wakishangoa hii hat itabaki kianguka kianguka paka ingia katini and you know hizo 20 and above atazikwa kula akiwa amekaa mm. si hii udongo itanyeshwa pia hapa yeah, pakae kama okay. pale hii mm. so watawacha tu hizo mpaka vile wata install king mwingine mm. sasa wakisha install king mwingine ndio pia yeye sasa amushe tena hii nyumba hapa hapa penye wanga the founder of wanga kingdom alikuwa amejenga tena mm. so tukiangalia hizi nyumba it's mm. just an example of a real homestead vile kitambo wa wanga walikuwa wanatengeneza maboma zao starting houses na around hivyo So tukiona hiyo ya katikati ilikuwa kama ya mwenye poma ama ya king the door will face, will face the gate. Mm-hmm. Bibi yake mkubwa pia milango wa bibi mkubwa una face the gate. Second wife kwenda chini milango zazi ta angalia ndani ya boma. Mm-hmm. Then grandmother na jeliwa hapa kwa sababu sisi wageni wengi atatukaribisha na akikukataa tutarudia tu kwa pale. So akikubali ataita mjukuu. Wajukuu walikuwa wanatengenezewa karibu na gate because they were like security so atatuma mjukuu kwa yule mama ndio mama ende pale apewe security sasa ndio hii tukiwa hapa inaitupeleke na kule mm-hmm. so that house ndio tunaita endanger ho in kiluya sasa hiyo nyungu nimeonyesha iko pale katikati na kuna wazee wanakunywa kwa sasa hiyo tradition mbili pale mm-hmm. so weekends wanaanza saa saba but kama ni weekdays wanaanza saa nane mm-hmm. na ikifika saa kumi na mbili kamili kila mtu anaenda zake hapa mm-hmm. panabaki for security purpose okay. na wazee si watu wanakuja tu kukunywa hizo gombe wana discuss about politics education pengine mmoja wao amekosewa school fees pengine mmoja wao na mgonjwa mahali hospitali imeshindikana kuna wenye watu wanajua madawa za kienyeji pale mm-hmm. eh. So kuna wamama wamejiregesta hapa 21 of them wako under the umbrella of the king ndio wanatengeneza hiyo busa 
hakuna siku utakosa hapa hiyo blue zake ndio shame blue mm. ili ukija tu kukunywa bora ukunywe tu si ati unakuja na chana pengine ni bangi a a hiyo tu tradition blue peke yake kuna utafunywa vizuri hapa askari hakuna mwenye anakutisha wewe pia wao wanakuja pia kukunywa tu wanaenda mm. na tukikosa hata sign na kuja kupik tu na so no one stays here hakuna no one stays here labda mm. security peke yake ndio alipewa hiyo kuishi mm. Habari zenu? So inside this house we learned a lot actually we learned that there are elders who always come here at least every day uh, to talk about the developments of the day and also we learned that people usually don't come here to idol around that these elders are very responsible men who work and take care of their families and so when they take their time to come here and discuss about the day's activities and plan uh, about tomorrow's activities they also have plans they are elected elders who on, only come here to discuss about uh, what is going on politics health issues developments and so forth they also made us understand that they are organized in this house there are there is a chairman there is a treasurer they they just organized around here and also how they talk in here you just don't walk in and start talking they organize themselves you are given time to talk and so forth so they also uh, made us understand that people around the world come here to visit them and learn about their culture and their tradition and also about their kingdom they also made us understand so many things that they do in this kingdom we were also given permission to ask them so many questions and they gave us very satisfying answers. They also wanted to know us where we come from and we ended up having a very nice chat with them. We were also allowed to shoot our videos and take pictures with them. I personally asked if I can buy the elders some brew and yes, they did not deny it. Let's keep on learning from this culture. Mona hiyo hiyo huko hiyo huko inakaa na na chifu chifu ipo kazi yake ukitaka kuongea lazima uta utauliza kuongea kama ni discussion inaendelea uh, ukitaka kuchagia katika hiyo discussion pia tena unamuuliza nafasi ukitia nafasi ndio ongee hapo uweze ongea tu ndio nafikiria sisi tunapenda wageni na bila shaka bila kupoteza wakati hatuwezi maliza wiki kama kabla tulikuwa na wageni tunakuwa na wageni all over the country even out of the out of the out of the country juice mko na watu kutoka nani Nigeria hiyo yeah. matawi wakati labda kuna members one of the members mko sana naye mko na asira naye ingia kwa nyumba ya matawi ikiwa pale hiyo asira kitapotea bila wewe kujua <laughs> imeenda wapi? Yaani utaona tu yaani utaona tu kuna urafiki na hata ni ule adui wako. Namba 2 hii matawi inatusaidia kuondolo wageni kama jiji. Na jinsi tunapokaenda wageni kutoka all over the country and even out of the country. Jinsi mm-hmm. tulikuwa na watu kutoka Germany. Baibia mkifika hapo nikwa nyumba mnakuwa humble. Mm-hmm. Then you listen to us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sasa ni matawi ambayo mtu mwenye aliyeka si ya kitu wake ni mbaya. And here we end our tour at Nabongo Cultural Center, Eshembe Homatungu in Mumias Town in Kakamega County. If you want to visit this place, I will leave all the info in my prescription box. Thank you so much for clicking in and watching my video. Keep sharing, keep liking, leave your comments down below. And until we meet again on another interesting video, ciao.